My name is Dr. Mojola Mole. I'm a general surgeon and a breast surgical oncologist at Scarborough Health Network. In terms of what we see in breast disease, so I see both benign and malignant. So when we say malignant, that is cancerous uh, masses. But oftentimes there's a lot of women that come in with just something feels abnormal for them. So in terms of benign breast disease, um, it's sometimes it's hard to separate out from just having lumpy, bumpy breasts. So things that you know you should be aware of when we talk about um, non-cancerous lumps in the breast, such as uh, fibroadenomas. So this is just a smooth, um, round mass that's sometimes found in the breast. Oftentimes it's diagnosed when you're younger. When you're older, like over 50, if this is a new diagnosis, we tend to always get biopsies of these because it's not common. It's more common in young women in your early teens and in your 20s. And usually this will just feel like a small, smooth, um, like a grape uh, that you can move around in your breasts. It's non-painful, although some women will say that it is painful if someone bumps against it or if they rub against something that it might hurt them. Any lumps in general, you should bring to the attention of your family doctor um, to be to um, to check out for you. So fibroadenoma on their own do not cause any cancer and they're benign and usually we watch them for two years with ultrasounds every six months and if that's fine, you know, we just move on from them. The time that we always get concerned about them is if it rapidly changes in size, so all of a sudden it grows really big, then that is a, some, uh, that gives us pause for concern and at that time we'll get a biopsy of that. Other things that you find in your breast are cysts. Uh, cysts are very common. Some women have more cysts than others. Cysts grow and change with the uh, with the cycle where you are in your cycle, and they can actually be sometimes be quite painful. We don't tend to remove cysts or drain cysts because they'll just keep on coming back. Uh, but we do talk to women about some lifestyle changes they can make that can help the cysts change in size and uh, to prevent them from having more symptomatic cysts. So things like cutting out caffeine, cutting out chocolate, heavy fatty meals, and not smoking are things that kind of help breast cysts uh, uh, to be less painful and to hurt less. These are also the things we tell women when they have um, cyclical breast pain, so just breast pain that comes every same time every month. Oftentimes this is related to hormone changes and so my advice is similar to what I say for cysts is just you know cutting out the caffeine and the smoking and heavy fatty meals, things that really do cause you to have uh, more tender breasts. At the last area when we talk about um, part of benign breast disease uh, is breast discharge uh, from your nipple. So nipple discharge not so when you're not lactating, so you're not uh, producing milk, um, is it's not something that is, it is something that is common, but it's not always something that's worrisome. So oftentimes this could be milky in color, clear or greenish. All of this is just part of fibrocystic breast disease. Even that said, if you're having nipple discharge, sometimes it comes out on its own or you wake up in the morning with it in a tissue on your bra or your night, um, nightwear, um, you should bring it to attention to your doctor. We will investigate it to make sure that there's nothing else that's going on and then say, you know what, it is nothing to worry about. Just, you know, don't press on it. The more you press on your nipple, the more stuff will come out of it. What to be concerned about uh, is if you have any blood coming from your nipple. If you have any blood coming out from your nipple, whether you squeeze it or it comes out on its own, that is always something to be concerned about because that could be a little tiny, uh, what we call a papilloma, which is a growth of tissue within the duct of your breast that could have harbor a small pre-invasive or invasive cancer in it. So that always needs to be brought to attention of your primary care physician. Uh, and then we'll be referred to um, a general surgeon or breast surgeon to manage that.